going on guys Sean here hammerhead garage today we're going to be looking at uh, some beginner porting uh, for these uh, Flowtech 180 cc small block Ford heads I'm going to show you a couple things um, listen I'm by no means a head porter okay a professional head porter I'm a mechanic um, a head porter to me is somebody that works in a speed shop and they spend 40 hours a week at least porting cylinder heads and they know all about it I don't I know a few things about flow. I have ported heads in the past. Uh, not a lot of heads. Um, three sets of motorcycle, one set of V8 heads. So this will be my fifth set of heads that I've ported. So I'm not a, an expert. Um, you know, I learn things like everybody else does. But the things I'm going to show you, anybody can do. Okay. Uh, I just want to show you. Uh, see, hopefully it'll show up here. Here's one of the intake valves that I haven't done anything to. See, there's a ridge and stuff on it there, and it's pretty rough in there and whatnot. And the short turn radius is really sharp. There's a lip. Let your fingers do the do the talking, guys. Now here's one I've done a little bit of light work on. Feel in here, it's a smooth man. Super smooth. Feel the short turn, that ridge is gone. It's nice and smooth in there. And I've only spent about 15 minutes on this intake port. I'll show you my uh, porting setup. Basically, you get these sanding rolls that you can put on a mandrel, which is on my electric drill here at the moment. But I also have this um, angle grinder that I bought. I got this off of Amazon. I think I paid 70 bucks for it. It's a pretty good one. Um, these are my carbide bits. Uh, one thing I want to caution you with with these guys is that they take a ton of material off in a hurry, so go real, real easy, especially on aluminum. It's not hard to get overzealous and put a hole in the water jacket in these heads and you got it you don't want to do that you've wrecked a set of heads I'll show you a, a tip though on your compressor you should have a regulator set up on it like I do here what you want to do is you want to lower your air pressure if it's adjustable down to about 50 pounds because you don't want your um, your rotary tool turning full speed. It's too hard, it's too easy to make a mistake doing it that way. So just lower her down to about 50 pounds to get about 50. And that'll slow your regulator down a fair amount or your um, Dremel, your rotary tool down by a, a fairly large amount. It gives you better control when you're first starting out because you can take a lot of, of metal off in a hurry, right? You don't want to do that. But anyway, I want to show you some basic math you're trying to figure out and make the ports all the same size some of you guys probably want to know why how you do that well I'm going to show you a little bit of math here bear with me I know no one likes math but anyway I'll bring it in here you might be able to see it a little better intake valve throat the throat should be 80% of the valve size so I've got a 1.9 a 1 a 9 4 thousandths valve in this intake so 80% of that is, that's the final number I'm looking for, 1.552. The exhaust valve should be 90% of the valve size for proper flow. I got a 1.54 exhaust valve, so the number I'm looking for is 1.386. The only way to find that accurately is with a micrometer. Okay, and I got a snap gauge here too. You guys know what T gauges look like, I'm sure. That's what T gauge set looks like. You can get them off Harbor Freight or anything for Amazon for cheap. You don't gotta spend a lot of money on those. Um, I set the mic up here for the exhaust side size, which is 1.386. And then what I do is I put my T gauge in there so that it just fits, just fits in there nicely, right? So basically. The area where you're going to get the most power and the most bang for the buck is in the area underneath the valve seat here. See, the valve sits here on the seat. This area right in here, the area immediate in here is called the throat. That is what these measurements are for. This is the throat size. That's the size you want to make the throat. So here's my exhaust and I said it was 1.386 and I'm, right now I'm in the throat area right now, just below the valve seat. This area where there's together and I'm right in the throat area and I get a little bit of resistance so that's right at that size right now but I've already done a little bit of grinding now if I go to this exhaust port over here this tool fits in but not as easy quite a bit harder it doesn't fit in that way at all see and this one fits right in there 
right? So that's what you want to do is you want to open it up so that you get that throat size. Okay, and you do the same thing for the intake. But also, you notice on the exhaust on this one, it's, there's a sharp angle here. On this one here, I just started to grind that out so it's smooth. Let your fingers tell you. Your fingers will tell you where the sharp protrusions are and where you need to focus your, your effort. Okay. Uh, and if anything, be very, very conservative. Don't take more off than you need to. You can't add material. Well, you can by welding, but it gets expensive. You can't add material. So just take off enough. Get it, just get it smooth. All you're trying to do is get rid of these machine marks under here. Get the throat size to the right size, like I got written down here. Uh, and then get the, sh get the rough areas out. Like where you feel inside the short radius here, it's sharp in here. There's a sharp lip. Well, air is going to hit that lip and it's going to disrupt flow. What you want is smooth, smooth and contoured, man. That's what you're after. Okay, that's, that's the business. Nice and smooth transitions, right? Nothing rough, like it. That's nice right there. Air is going to want to flow in there, right? That's the other thing too, is you can look at a port and you can look in a port and you can tell whether or not air is going to want to flow in there. You sure as shit can tell if it wants to flow in there. You're going to be able to see, right, that it, can, it wants to flow in there. But uh, that's what I know about porting, which took about three seconds to explain to you. Lots of other guys that are better at it. But you can see in the exhaust runner here, I've just done a little bit in there. I haven't seen all this rough stuff here. I'm going to grind all that out. This little, this is called the, uh, the roof right here. Now I'm going to go in there and I'm going to clean all that up. I'm going to use the sanding rolls, not the carbide bit. Because the carbide, like I said, you got to be real careful. You can take a ton of material off quickly. You don't want to do that. So anyway, um, when I do get a little further down the road here, I'm not going to show you grinding because that's boring shit. But anyway, you just basically... I'll show you what, this, what the tool sounds like with the, with the speed reduced. I mean, this thing will wing to like 40,000 RPM if you let it. But with it at set at 50, it sounds like this. That's what you're going to want, something like that. Anyway, hope you're having a good day, dudes. Hope you got something out of that. Check back with me later. I'll show you more. Thumbs up for Warramp. Stay classy, dudes.